I was 18 years old when I got married. I belonged to a very conservative family, a Baloch family, where good daughters never say no to their parents. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, don't get scared, I'm perfectly fine now. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself, I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. The radius ulna of my right arm were fractured wrist was fractured. My whole ribcage got fractured. I couldn't breathe. But that injury that changed me and my life completely as a person and my perception towards living my life was the spine injury. Three vertebrae of my backbone were completely crushed and I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. Doctors have put a lot of titanium in my arm. There's a lot of titanium at my back to fix my back. That's why people in Pakistan call me the Iron Lady of Pakistan. One day, doctor came to me and he said, well, I heard that you wanted to be an artist, but you ended up being a housewife. I have a bad news for you. You won't be able to paint again. Your spine injury is so bad. You won't be able to walk again. I took a deep breath and I said, it's all right. You won't be able to give birth to a child again. I asked my mother, why me? Why am I even alive? I cannot walk, I cannot paint, fine. I cannot be a mother. My mother said to me, this too shall pass. God has a greater plan for you. So the very first painting I made was on my deathbed, where I painted for the very first time. For two years, I was bedridden, confined in that one room, looking outside the window, listening to the birds chirping, and thinking maybe there will be a time when we'll be going out with the family. That day I decided that I'm going to fight my fears. You know what was my biggest fear? Divorce. I liberated myself by setting him free. My biggest fear, number two, was I won't be able to be a mother again. But then I realized there are so many children in the world, so there is no point of crying. Just go and adopt one. And that's what I did. Alive. And live every moment. Love yourself and spread that love. Never give up. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.